Hey there guys, this is Artishan and for today I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on how I did a custom hair bun for an Android 179 Sawako Koronoma from the anime Kimi ni Todoke. So as you can see we have this hair split from an Android which has a peg hole on, on the top of her hair and a Gantla runner that we'll be using as a support base for the scalp of the band. So it seems that it fits very well. So we'll be cutting it with a nipper. Then we'll be proceeding on the sculpting. So now for the hair sculpt itself, we'll be using a Tamiya Epoxy Body that has two variants which are the smooth version and the quick type version. So we'll be using the smooth type version because it has a longer curing time which is 12 hours compared to the quick type that has only 6 hours. So I'll be using the smooth version because I'm a beginner and I don't have enough experience in using this one so it is highly recommended that you should use this one first if you're a beginner but if you're feeling confident with your skills you can use the quick type because it has a shorter curing time and of course it is highly recommended to use a gloves when using this because it can cause skin irritation but as for me, I didn't experience anything, but of course, just to be safe, you should just use the gloves. And as you can see, after some time of sculpting and molding the hair bun itself, we can clearly see that it has taken um, its form. So if you're happy with it, you can just leave it to dry. After quite some time, the scalp is already cured and now we'll be testing the old faceplate of Nendoroid Sawako Koronoma if it does fit and by doing some trimming on the inside of the back portion of the hair, I can finally fit the faceplate but of course as you can see there's a gap between the front and the back hair split. So we'll be using a flexi wire which is um, from a face mask and of course if you notice the, the hair split was trimmed already so I'll be using some excess hair split in order to use it as a um, end point for this flexi wire so it can imitate a hair and yeah um, it does look like a headband because it will be used to um, to cover the gap between the front and the back hair split fast forward I already did sculpted a tummy epoxy body on the flexi wire itself so as you can see we, we clearly have a um, a headband look here for Sawako Koronama and of course I'll be adjusting it once more in order to make it short and fit perfectly Now this is the portion wherein I'm going to sand down the hair split because it will be beneficial for the primer to stick much better on the surface of the hair split and of course by using a primer we can give a better um, surface for the acrylic paint that we'll be using to color the hair bun itself. Finally, the hair split is primed 
but of course it's very rough and forgive me because I'm a beginner when it comes to hand painting and of course we'll be moving to the painting process of the hair scalp itself so as you can see I'm using a Tami acrylic black for this one in order to finalize the color of the hair bun itself and of course it is highly recommended to use multiple layers of paint in order to give a fine tone to the color of the hair bun So now to finish the um, hair scalp itself, I'm using a TS79 clear gloss for a top coat because I think I already did the matte color for the hair itself so I'm trying to balance it out by using a clear gloss. So guys, if you haven't watched the unboxing video of Nendoroid 179 Sawako Koronama, you can check it out here on my channel because I highly recommend that you should watch it first so you can have an idea on what Sawako looks like using the custom hairband that we did. So now we'll be moving forward to the final look of Sawako Koronama with her custom hair split that I did made. So at first we'll be removing her original hair, then we'll be putting on the custom hair bun that I did for her. So as you can see, you just need to put in between these um, two hair splits, uh, you'll be adding the headband hair that can act as a um, cover for the gap between the front and the back hair split so here's a 360 look of it then now we'll be removing the hair split once again and now I'll be showing you the real purpose of the hair band that I did and now we'll be using another new face plate which is not from Sawako Koronama itself but from a different Nendoroid and as you can see there's no gap anymore because we're using a newer faceplate and now we can see Sawako Koronoma on a different look while using a different faceplate. So I hope you like it guys.